So today I'm going to be discussing how does it look to walk with God. The first scripture I have is Micah 6, 8. It says, he has shown you, O Moro, what is good and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. So to walk with God is to walk in love, to be humble, to give grace, to give mercy to people. I notice that a lot of people say that it is hard to walk with God. And indeed it is, especially for us as human beings, because we were born into sin. Like we naturally want to sin. We naturally want to do the wrong thing. I don't know if you guys get this, but I'm pretty sure everybody does. When someone uh, cuts you off in a row, the first thing you want to do is what? Cuss them out. The first thing you want to do is to pop off. And so walking with God, you learn that that is not always the answer. I just want to tell you guys, if you're dealing with negative thoughts, you need to bind those thoughts. In Jesus' name, you need to bind those thoughts. Those thoughts don't have no authority over you. I'm telling you right now, in Jesus' name, you got to remove those negative thoughts out of your head, out of your mind. Whatever you speak, whatever you speak is going to come against you because that's what the devil does whatever come out your mouth he's going to use that against you so if you say i'm fat or i'm ugly then he's going to use that against you so there's definitely power in your mouth speak life over yourself speak life over yourself and i'm telling you this week don't don't wait now or never I want you guys to speak life over yourself and watch. Watch how God work. I want you to start walking in your authority. I want you to start walking in that power that God has given you. Because the power is in you. You just need to activate it. You need to tap in. Ain't nothing different about me. Ain't nothing different about your pastor. We all the same. We're all the same. But you have to tap in. You have to open your heart. You have to let your guard down and let God do the work. Amen. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Trust that God is going to do it. He's going to do it. Ask God, help me, Jesus. Help me, God. I have these negative thoughts and I can't get rid of them, God. I need your help. I'm pleading, God. Help me. Okay, so I love y'all, but God loves you.